today we will be restoring an antique river. This has been buried and burnt on burn trails in Chatsworth, California. All that rust, this is not coming back. Um, it was a really good friend of mine gave me this a birthday gift. Looks like he tried to clean it here. Might have hit it a couple times with a wire brush though. So now I'm taking an attempt at it. Since we've done this by watching the YouTube videos, I'm going to go and see how it works. Some of these videos say you only have to soak it um, for 14 hours, some say 19 hours. But the jar of the stuff that we're going to use, well, that's going to take a little bit longer than that. As the directions clearly indicate, 24 to 48 hours if it's heavy rusting such as this. But this, this right here, this metal rescue, rust remover bath, that's what you want to get your hands on. You can get that at any hardware store, most any hardware store. Home Depots have it. Unless they're out of stock, you might want to call ahead or order online. Up to you. And then you just take the metal rescue cleaner, rust remover bath, pour it out, you can pick it up, or uh, clear it out. I'm getting this five gallon bucket, so that's not very much. Maybe possibly the whole thing. I want to use some of it to get the need for the second bag, but let's see. Fill that up. Now we take the said artifact and see if we can even submerge at this angle. I see that's not going to work. Which is why I also got this just painting tray. It's a nice one though. Just in case the bucket didn't work, I couldn't bring a gun into Home Depot. So now we're just going to transfer this right into this. You can now get a much better idea of how clear the solution is. It's supposedly not abrasive on the hands. Um, it's not fully covering us. Our artifact yet, so we're going to top it off. Ooh. Now she's covering it nicely. Now again, this is going to be part one of two video. And you can already see it kind of working. Like little pieces of corrosion are coming off. But this will be a part one of two video on how to restore a rusted Ruger handgun. So... What happened just with the shape and size of this one is still not 100% submerged, it's more like 99, but make sure you have a big enough bucket. You can do some measurements better than I did, and then you just put that somewhere safe and let it soak. Um, I might do a three part actually, I'll do this a three part video so I can show you about halfway through on the second video, and then on the final video, I'll show you how clean. Hopefully, uh, hopefully she comes out real clean by then. So, take up to 48 hours like it said though. So we shall see. To be continued. To you, boo. Most gangster gift I ever got.